Okay, so my damn self just stayed my dress, but it's fine, okay? my channel this is your first step welcome my name is Mira nice to meet you so before I get into the video I just want to quickly chip in something feel free to hit the subscribe button first of all because it's absolutely free and secondly because I promise you love this family I'm telling you okay so in today's video we're going to be doing another story time so before I even go any further you might want to get yourself a glass of wine some tea champagne beer whatever and popcorn of course because you know <laughs> our story times are lit for those of you who are new, I have some other Tinder stories. And most of these things happen at the same time. You guys, Tinder is definitely a lot, especially in Africa, especially in Ghana. I, I, I don't get it, okay? I do not get it. I think some of my worst days were from Tinder. So I'll link it up here, here somewhere, just in case you can send it. So let me get right into the story. <laughs> Once upon a time, I was in Tinder. So at this time, I was already doing my national service and my very close friend, Masmari, was there with me. In fact, that is how I met him. I met him through national service. This was actually three years ago. Damn, I feel old. When I first downloaded Tinder, I did it just because I was extremely bored and secondly, because I was fascinated by the fact that you could swipe left and right to someone. You know, like, <laughs> imagine this life. Imagine living in this life and you can actually look at someone and say nope yes nope i mean that's not a good thing but it's just exciting okay like anyway my and i had and i had this thing where he would usually make fun of me for being racist because at the time i had just left my ex-boyfriend who was white and he used to make fun of me say i don't like black guys i like white guys that's not true brother okay my boyfriend is black so <laughs> he was just making assumptions so he had this thing where sometimes he would take my phone and like just swipe to men and sometimes I would swipe. And sometimes out of jokes, Ms. Manu would literally swipe someone he knows very well I'm interested in. So when I joined the app, I realized that it was like a hookup place for a bunch of people. But it was exciting as well because you guys, <laughs> I had so many DMs and sometimes it's just good to, you know, hear people compliment you, you know. And at that time, I was single as F and I needed all the compliments that I could get, okay. Not because I was not feeling good, it's just... Sometimes it's nice to hear from people. So I remember when I joined it, like, I had a very sarcastic bio, okay? And only like very smart people would have gotten it at the time. I don't know what it was, but I think it was something like in the line of, I am crazy and blah, 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 and whatever, and um, swipe right to me as your own defense. Something interesting, I don't remember, okay? And I think I was saying that I'm not interested in hookup or something like that. So out of nowhere, this man texted me, and he was like, hey, you're so beautiful, I like you, blah, 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 and I'm manager for this place and that place and most of the time I come to Ghana and sometimes I'm in Nigeria He was white by the way. It was like most of the time I come to Ghana and sometimes I'm in Nigeria. I'm a manager for something <sighs> Whatever I want you to keep me company whenever I'm in Ghana and so on and so forth. So I looked at it and I'm like Excuse me. I went straight to his profile and I looked at him like You serious wait you have the right to ask me that so for some weird reason this man was like depending on the color of his skin and the fact that he was a manager for some company to like spit out this bullshit so i saw this and like the normal me like kind of got upset but i was like let's be calm about it let's be diplomatic about it because you know and i was like let me not be daft, let me not be shallow minded, let me ask him to explain. So he goes like, oh yeah, so basically whenever I'm in Accra, you would go out with me to restaurants and then we eat whatever I want. And when we're done, we'll go to my hotel and have fun. And each time I come, I'll call you and then we'll have fun again. So like, I felt offended, like I was upset, you guys. So in my quest to be polite, I was like, hey, um, whatever, whatever, but I'm not interested. However, if you're looking for... If you're looking for someone like that, you might want to go to Kuala because there are so many beautiful ladies out there who are willing to keep you company whenever you're in Ghana. You guys, I was as polite as I could be, you guys. I was polite. I was... See, people who know me know me knows that I can be very nice. I'm a nice person. So, like, I was very polite, even though this guy literally insulted me. So, when I said that, he just about that, no, he's not looking for that. He has tried that in the past and... Most of them are just like dumb and all those things and he has a feeling that I'm very intelligent and beautiful and um, I would be able to have a good conversation with him and that's what he's actually looking for and not all those shallow ass whatever and from what I've seen so far you can actually do that so I prefer you 
So I came back and I was like, oh, unfortunately, I'm not interested. I don't do that. I'm not interested in that. I'm here for other things, like every other thing apart from that. I'm not looking for hookup. And if you read my bio, you'd have seen that as well. So this one comes back and he goes like, yeah, you black girls are so full of yourselves. Whatever. I can get a thousand of you if I go to the street. And I don't know why you're being so difficult. It's absolutely easy. All, I, all you have to do is just meet me once in a while and I give you money and you get money and then you can do whatever you want with it. Look at, look at it in this way. I get it. You get to go to all these luxurious places you've never been to and I pay for your bills and all those things. And besides, you get to sleep with me and I get to pay you money. You guys, I swear to God, okay? I swear. I'm not exaggerating, okay? If you see this man, okay, if you see this man and the fact that he had the nerve to say that I get to sleep with him. <laughs> to all the ladies out there, okay, I just want to say that I feel your pain, okay? Some of the things we go through is absolutely insane. We don't deserve it. We don't. Ha! Mind them. You should have seen this man. So he goes, like, you get to sleep with me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, first of all, who are you again? Like, what do you mean by I get to sleep with you? And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even understand why I was actually going through this conversation with this man because I could have just blocked him and moved on. So I was like, what do you mean by I get to sleep with you? And who told you that like, I'm that desperate or like I can't get any man I want if I want him? And he goes like, you ugly black bitch. How dare you? Blah, blah, blah. And then he goes like, <laughs> you guys, huh? it was not a funny matter at the time. So he goes like, you ugly black bitch. How dare you? I can get a thousand of you if I want. There's so many of you on the street. Some of you girls try to pretend like you're something you're not. And he goes like, I've been in Africa for so long. I've been in, I go to Nigeria. I come to Ghana all the time. And most of the, most of you girls are flocking around me. So I don't understand why you're acting tough and why you're acting expensive and shit like that and all those things. And I'm like, ah. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so, so, you guys, I flipped. Like, in a second, I flipped. Flipped. I was like, first of all, if you can get a thousand African girls, why the hell are you in my DM? Why the hell are you trying to convince me to hang out with you and all those things? I'm not gonna sit down here and say that, okay, I like the fact that whatever, but you guys, I flipped. You guys, I flipped. I was like, fuck you. I was like, hey, okay, let me say fuck you. I was like, F you. What the hell do you mean by that? Like, I, I, you guys, I said stuff, okay? Um, I said stuff. I called him, I called him a pig because he looked like one. I'm sorry. Not sorry to him. I'm sorry because I'm saying this out loud. This doesn't make me look like a lady, but I feel like certain people should be kept in their places. So I called him. A, I called him an ugly pig. I called him an ugly person, and I told him that I do not understand why anyone on this earth is willing to sleep with someone like him. Because as a matter of fact, even his DP was ugly. You guys, his face was shaped like a potato. He was formless. You guys, I told him super black. I was like, oh my god. The fact that you think you're superior to me is even worse person than you guys. I blasted him. I don't want to say some of the things I said, but I actually, I was mean, you guys. I, I didn't even know I had a mean bone in me. So I blasted this guy. I spoke my mind and I didn't block him right away because I wanted him to see that message before I... Oh, shoot. Shoot. Wow. I never took off my ear. I wanted him to see before I, like, I blocked him or whatever. So, fast forward, that very day, like when I said that I, I left the thing, okay? I came back the next morning and Tinder has suspended my account. Eh? <laughs> Tinder had suspended my account. They had banned my account. You guys. So I didn't get it. Like I was like, okay, so what's going on? Why is Tinder banning my account? No, no, no. Actually, when, after that incident, I didn't go on Tinder for like a while. Like I think I didn't go on Tinder for like a couple of days. So fast forward, I came back on Tinder and they had banned my account. And I'm like, what's going on here? So I kept like I, I kept like trying to find. I was like, no, this doesn't make sense. I mean, I haven't done anything to deserve that. I thought, totally forgot that I had insulted someone. Okay, I kept looking for like reasons why. So I sent them a message and blah blah, blah and they, eventually they replied and they told me that my account had been blocked because I violated their policies and I insulted people and stuff like that. So as it stands now, you guys, I am completely blocked on Tinder. <laughs> Can you imagine? I am blocked on Tinder. Okay. And to be honest with you, I don't regret it. I don't regret being a band on Tinder. I don't regret saying what I have to say because you guys, it hurts me sometimes. I do not have screenshots to prove to you guys. Because at the time, I was extremely cheap. So most of my screenshots, I did not back them up. So I don't have them. But I do not regret it because I feel like sometimes people do not book as black girls. And let me let me be clear right now. Okay, let me quickly chip this in. 
I feel like sometimes most of these men act this way because we black girls, you know, respect, respect ourselves as well. Not black girls in general, black girls in Africa, black girls in Ghana. So this is a story time that I'll do later on. But when I was, while I was dating my ex, there were so many ladies coming on to him. There was a time he himself confessed to me that they, he cannot do this anymore because he literally has black girls chasing after him. Sometimes, you guys, let's put some respect on our names. I mean, I get it, okay? You want to have a half co baby. Okay, that's not the right word to say. You want to have, yeah, a half co baby. Let me just put it that way so that my local people will understand. You want to have a half co baby, but that doesn't mean that you solve yourself short, okay? You guys hovering around white men only puts a dent on our names, only makes us feel less. You guys, the number of white men that I've met who like try to show that they're superior, meanwhile, in their own countries, they ain't shit. Literally, I've met laborers, like I've met laborers in Ghana who act like they are like billionaires, who act like they are Obama or like Bill Gates or shit like that, simply because you black girls have raised them up this high. Instead of raising all these white men up high like this, sometimes we worship these guys who ain't shit. Sometimes I look at the white guys and I'm like, okay, so you actually have someone who likes you. See, sis. Do not, do not, and I repeat, do not lower your standards simply because he's a black guy. And this is to mainly my Ghanaian ladies. I lived in Osu and it was painful to watch. I would cringe most of the time because of some of the things you guys are willing to do just to get a white man lead. You guys make these guys feel like they're something when they're not, they're nothing. Some of them are just volunteers. Some of them do not even get paid, okay? So stop it. Okay, now I'm shouting, but I'm upset. This is something that is very dear to my heart. And I'll be willing to do a video on it, like a full video on it, if you guys want me to, because it is something we have to address right now. Stop being desperate, especially when it comes to these white men. It is not cute. Okay, that brings us to the end of the video. I got banned on Tinder. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And do not forget to give it a thumbs up, a share, or a like. And I'll see you in my next video, okay? Until next time, bye.